Hello and welcome back to Gas Beauty of Tigwood Top Football. We're back in the workshop working on this seated terrace build. I'm just about to show you where we've gotten up to. Now, if you remember last time, we had put in this bit of timber, these two bits of timber, and that adds a bit of solidity uh, to, to the back of the thing, right? So on top of that, there was a bit of a gap. Now, filled that in, with this braced piece of MDF. So we're running out the MDF. So really I'm sort of sort of dipping into scraps of it to try and try and sort of last it through, really. So that is effectively three pieces of MDF with another piece glued on top to make a full span, which are then glued on the back on the top of this timber, and then to double secure it, screwed it in with some tiny little wood screws. And that just holds it all together and makes it nice and solid. So that's good. Now this bit on the top is a bit of um, door strip. Where, where, here it is. It's a bit of this stuff. So a bit of scrap timber, which actually looked like it was getting a bit damp. Uh, I used this for lining out some doors ages ago. Um, we had some new doors basically in. They didn't fit in. So that was... Cut a bit of that off, because that was just sitting in here doing nothing. It's no good to no one. And I'm gluing, gluing that on at the minute, and that's going to be the back part of the roof. So that's going to be fixed in. But if you remember, I was saying, I want to keep the top of the roof free so we can take it on and off. Now, we'll get to that in a minute. Now, in the front, I started layering the first level of seats so they're all glued in that's effectively the upper level equivalent of these ones here right uh, if in fact if we can get some seats we can demonstrate that so obviously the seats will go all the way along but they're effectively going to look like you know this sort of jobby and then there's going to be another layer of seats on the top now i'm gluing them at the minute so if you remember at the start, we were cutting some three centimetre width bits of MDF and some one centimetre width bits of MDF. And that one of the, one of the three centimetres and one of the one centimetre widths made up one level of these steps. I had a load of those strips left from the start. So all I've done there is we cut them to shape. And once they're glued, which they're clamped in a minute, they're going to go on the top. So they'll be another level of seats there. So there's going to be two rows of seats up there and all the seats down here. Uh, now they've got dry, so I've got one for there, one for there. And there's another one for the middle piece to go there. So it is starting to take shape. Uh, where's the other bit I had? Oh, yeah, this is the other piece. So this is the start of the roof construction, right? So again, we're running out of bits of MDF. So I've had to, very similar process as that back piece, cut three pieces and then brace it with another piece in the middle. You'll notice a little groove there. That's because that's going to sit on there and I wanted a bit of a, a sort of locking mechanism so it stays on there. And then I'm not going to glue that down. Uh, there's going to be another piece in the back because at the minute there's still a gap there. So there'll be a piece down there and then we'll cover all that in... Uh, I normally do the roofing stuff in roofing felt. Uh, so we'll get a, I've got a scrap bit of that somewhere. Hang on, bear with me. Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. So here's a little piece of it. It's obviously not long enough. But imagine you'll have roofing felt on there, so that'll make the roof, and that'll cover that, that back piece there. So roofing felt will be glued to the removable part. And then when we need to get in, we can lift that off. And then when we're normally having it on the side of the pitch, it will just look like that. The roofing felt running down the back. Right, so that's where we're at at a minute. So what we've got to do now is uh, finish off this roof piece. Secure it all up. I'll probably put a little bit of... I might double up this, this this roofing just to make it a bit more sturdy because it's a bit flexible at the minute. So it'll be double length all the way along up to the edge there. And that'll be a little step to hold it in place at the edge as well. 
uh, and then we've got to think about how we're going to approach these inside bits because I want that to be effectively like glass so we'll get some sort of plastic um, I'm having a look around if we've got anything in here but I don't think I have imagine if we have a bit of plastic there and then a sort of frame of MDF with windows in the door and this this is meant to represent little doors going inside and then inside there we can put well whatever we want really a couple of cameras I don't know make it look like a sort of you know executive box kind of jobby and then if we can I was thinking about remember at the start I was saying about putting something here that sort of represented like a little club shop well I'm still going to do that um but I'm thinking about getting just See if I can get like a little scrappy wooden box or something, and that'll be very easy to cut in place. And then uh, and then we can work with that. And then once all that's done, all we've got to do really is spray it grey, and we can start doing all the fun decorating bits and putting seats and fans and all sorts in, and we should get there. We need a bit of fencing around the front. What I'll probably do is cut some of the remainder of the MDF uh, so it won't be quite that high but it will sort of neaten up this front I'll do that all around the edge and then on the sides for a bit of an effect you can print off off the internet um, like little doors and uh, make it look like that's an entrance into something and then obviously we'll have the club shop bit on that side right so that's where we're at it is coming along nicely uh, a few things got to dry before i do anything else uh, and i'll be able to put on uh, the next video after this one uh, a bit of the metal goals progress we've been making um, so those videos are a bit staggered so i filmed uh, I've got one in the phone. I think I've got one in the film, which was actually filmed a couple of days ago. But I'll put it on after this. Right, anyway, so you all happy with that? If we are, and we'll crack on with this. I'm, I'm sort of quite keen to get this done now. So, um, you know, we're at that sort of stage where it's almost like sort of 85% done. And it'd be nice to get the seats in and we can start messing around gluing in fans and whatnot. But, you know, this is going to be quite a complex bit to do. Mm, it's not too much else to do, though. It's just, it really is just spraying it and taking a bit of the burring off where we've cut it. Um, if you've been following along doing any of this and making anything similar, uh, let me know in the comments and put it on your channel. Or if you haven't got a channel, I don't know if you can post a photo up. Um, just show me what you're doing. Even if you want to tag me in one of the Subutio Facebook groups, just let me know. Uh, it'd be great to see how you're getting along with yours. All right? Right. Anyway, until next time. Other gas.